Welcome to Hand Tool Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing Titan Tools 16061 61-piece security bit set. I'll go ahead and show you what it comes with. So the part number is 16061, and it comes with these following bits. It comes with slotted bits. The slotted bits are an SAE or Imperial. Comes with Posi Drive. Comes with Phillips. Comes with Hex. This is normal Hex. Comes with Torx. This is normal Torx. Comes with Security Torx. Security Hex. Also comes with Spanner Bits. And finally, it comes with Square Bits and a 60 millimeter, 1 4 inch bit holder. You also notice it has copyright 2020. This is the newer version. And these particular bits are made in Vietnam. So this is the newer version because the older version, I believe it has a different copyright date. And those particular bits were made in China. It seems they've moved away from production in China to production in Vietnam. It's interesting that we're seeing more bits being made in Taiwan and Vietnam and other places than China. And this was traditionally, this particular bit set was traditionally made in China. So I'll go ahead and show you. It's a small compact, I mean, in relation to my hand, you can see right here, small compact bit set. And I'll go ahead and open it up. You'll notice the bit holder is loose, and I'll explain a little bit in a moment. So I'll go ahead and show you. So I've gone ahead and opened it up. So there's a 1 4 inch bit holder. You'll notice it's loose in here. And that's because no matter how much I try to get it back in here, it's very difficult to get it back in. Let me. So even if I try to force it in, it doesn't go in fully. And it's very difficult to put it back. I literally have to keep it loose because this part is very difficult. So let's go ahead and show you the bits. So right here we can see these particular bits in the first row. These are Phillips. Then you have your spanner bits. These are your Torx bits. These are regular Torx bits. Then you have your hex bits right here. Then you have your security hex as well. These are your posi drive bits. And then these are your bigger regular hex bits. Then you have security hex. Then you have Security Torx. These are your slotted bits. These are Imperial sizes or SAE. And finally, you have your square bits. So, this particular bit holder itself is 60 millimeters in length. And let me show you the strength of the magnet. One particular downside to this bit set is the bits are very close by each other. And you'll see if I can hold it up and if it'll focus. You see the bits are held in via clips as well. It makes some of these difficult to get out and that's a downside to it uh, what i found is if you want a particular bit the best way is maybe just to wiggle it and eventually it comes loose so the reason for that is it's a hard plastic in between the bits because it's a hard plastic and because they're held in with small little plastic clips it makes it difficult to get out but if you wiggle it makes it okay but if you probably have big fingers and might make it more difficult so that's that's a downside to this particular bit set and let me show you the strength of the magnet so it's not too particularly strong but i mean it holds it so if i go like this you'll see it's it's not going to let go now compared to other bit holders that i've used it's probably not as strong but i think I think it'll hold it okay. So, just a quick test. Yeah, I think it. I think it's su sufficient at least, at least for the the price you get this. So, on Amazon, this bit bit set can be maybe say ten twenty dollars. I mean, it's six sixty one pieces. The sixty one pieces is including this bit holder otherwise it's 60 pieces but i mean most of these bits they'll cover 
most of the jobs or most of the tasks or requirements that you need they are one inch bits so if you need longer bits unfortunately this this bit set doesn't have the two inch or three inch or four inch or eight inch bits but i mean if you have a regular bit holder or if you have a ratcheting and screwdriver i think most of these bits are well done and if you look at it even on say the security hex or on the say the security torques the actual holes are pretty precise you can see how they're drilled in they're pretty precise i don't see any kind of real issues with this sometimes one complaint you have with cheap bit sets is for example security hacks or security torques or any kind of other bits they may be uh, they can have the holes drilled offset or it's not precise but just looking at this it, it's a quality bit set i mean let me show from different angles so you can see the quality these are chrome vanadium steel bits as well. So these are not S2 bits, they're chrome vanadium steel bits. So you can see they're pretty precise, they're well done. I don't have any real complaints with the actual bits. However, this actual bit set, it's more the design and construction of the case. The bit holder doesn't go in easily. I mean, I could probably try and push it in, but it takes a lot of force and, and that's, that's not very convenient. And the, getting the bits out, themselves i understand it holds it really well because if i was to go like this none of the bits would i can literally shake it none of the bits will fall out which is very good but also makes it very difficult to to get out now in terms of summarizing this bit set i'd say for i'd say if you can get on sale or at the regular 10 20 price i think this bit set will probably last you a while you'll probably notice there's a few duplicates here and there i mean for common sizes i think it's a very good bit set and i would have no issue recommending it but besides recommending it just keep in mind that the bit holder might be hard to put back into place and that for example say some of these bits might be also tricky or a bit difficult to get out you would have to as as i mentioned the best method i found is just to slowly wiggle them out and they should come out otherwise no real complaints and i would have no problem really recommending it it's possible over time your bit set may develop some cracks but i don't see it affecting the functionality and i mean made in vietnam very good quality so i definitely recommend it if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below Thank you.